Hey everyone and welcome back to my page. It has been such a long time that I've actually used my voice for this page. I apologize, I have been in the process of moving. Um, I have neighbors upstairs that love to make noise. Um, they have a dog, they have a child, and they have vacuums and it and feet and the dog has paws and it's life. Um, so I am here coming at you late at night in my bathrobe, about to take my makeup off, in my cat ears because I can't find a headband, um, to tell you my most used and my favorite products of 2017. If you're interested, stay tuned so you can see all the products. Also, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, also, I have an Instagram. It's Stephanie Chang Beauty. Um, you can follow me there. I always post when I post a new video. You can keep updated there. I also have a Snapchat. You can add me on Snapchat so we can be Snapchat friends. Um, yeah, and if you'd like to get notifications, there is a box down below with a bell in it. So if you click that, then you can be notified when I make videos. So I just want to let you guys know that this video is going to be all over the place because my products are all over the place, so I'm just going to start reaching for them and talking about them. Um, so first off, in my hand, I have the uh, Soap in Glory. This is the Fab Pore Purifying Foam Cleanser. I have been struggling with like combo skin or mixture skin um, and this has been a lifesaver. Um, this is something that I will repurchase as long as my skin stays the same because I absolutely love it. It smells great. It's foamy. Um, another product from Soap & Glory is the the Fab Pore Daily Micro Smoothing Moisturizing Lotion. Um, moisturizer lotion, excuse me. It looks like this. I don't have the box anymore, unfortunately. Um, but this has been my moisturizer uh, day to day, day in, day out. I absolutely love it. It's not too moisturizing and it's also not under moisturizing where I still have flaky face. Along with like face stuff. Um, I picked up the Foreo, I believe this is the Foreo Play or the Foreo Mini or like their, tr their trial size of the Foreo. Um, I picked this up because my Clarisonic was starting to grow like bacteria and molds on it even though I was taking care of it right and I just got really grossed out and I just need time away from my Clarisonic. Um, so I picked this up. I fell in love with it. My sister actually bought me the full size for Christmas so I'm super excited to get to know the bigger one and use it. But if your Clarisonic is acting weird and growing funky stuff then I definitely say you know check out the Foreo. So when it comes to my dry skin or dry patches on my face my skin is super tough. Like, I have tried so many scrubs that do nothing. I will scrub my face with my either Clarisonic or my Foreo, and after I'm done, I will still have dry patches. And it is so annoying. So annoying when you want a beautiful, flawless face when your skin is acting out. Um, I found the Derma E Essentials Microdermabrasion Scrub. Looks like this. My jar is actually empty. I hit pan on it today. Yeah, that's how much I love this. Um, but this is not for people who have extremely sensitive skin. So if your skin gets scratched very fast, this is not for you. This is very, very, very abrasive. Um, and that's why it works good for my dry skin. Um, and actually, you know, scrubs off my dead skin, my dead skin cells, and it leaves my face like feeling so soft. Um, and I love it. So next is the wet brush. Um, my sister actually got me hooked on this. She works at like a uh, hair salon. So she was raving about the wet brush and my mom was raving about the wet brush so I went out and I purchased a wet brush um it is life-changing listen I wish they had this when my mother would brush through my hair I have Chinese slash Hispanic slash Italian hair and it's thick and it's curly slash wavy and crazy and my mother used to legitimately start from the top of my head and pull down with like paddle brushes. It's the worst pain ever, especially when you just got out of the shower. It's not as bad, but it's still naughty. Um, but yes, if you have naughty hair, if you have fragile breaking hair, if you just want your hair to be manageable, get a wet brush, please save yourself the hassle. They actually have found these at um, TJ Maxx and Marshalls for I think like seven, eight dollars. Um, some of the like beauty stores uh, do sell them for like 14, a little bit less. So definitely grab yourself one if you do see one. Next thing that I tried this year was the Caviar CC Cream. This is the 10 in 1 Complete Correction Leave-In Hair Perfector. It looks like this. Let's see if I can... Um, 
I love this. This is actually what I have in my hair now from when it came out of the shower. Like I said, my hair is a little bit thicker, um, curly, wavy. But when I put this product in, it kind of just like gives my hair a wave rather than like tight curls if I were to put gel in it or um, any other products. So I kind of like it because it's light, it smells good, and it just makes my hair shine the right amount. Um, which is perfect for winter when my hair is a little bit drier. We're talking about my brows, which actually do need to be done soon, but just ignore it and we're just gonna talk about my favorite brow products of this year. Um, there are two and they're both by Benefit. Benefit has been killing the game with brow products. I have never actually used Anastasia or Anastasia, however you wanna say it, um, brow products, which I should try eventually, but I fell in love with these products and yeah, this is just what I've been using. Um, this is Cabrow, Cabrow, yes, this is Cabrow by Benefit. Um, this is in the number three. I like this when I'm going for a more full eyebrow look. So if I want something very nighttime, something very glam, something like very bold brows, I will go for this. Um, if I'm going for something super de duper de duper easy, um, something more natural, um, my everyday go to go, it's the Benefit Gimme Brow. Now I wish I could be like, oh my gosh, go out and get yourself Gimme Brow. But unfortunately, some ding dong out there decided that Give Me Brow was for your eyelashes. Yeah, that was worth my iPhone even freaking out about a bit. Why would you think Give Me Brow would be for your eyelashes? Where in the name does it say eyelashes? Give me eyelashes? No, give me brow, as in eyebrows. Um, so unfortunately, someone out there in the world decided to use this as a mascara. It got in their eye, their eye got irritated, inflamed, red, and they like blew up this huge scandal online about the product and Benefit had to pull it. Um, unfortunately, this is my only tube I have and I'm you saving it because I absolutely love it so much. Um, but the, I also wear this in number three. But this is for, like I said, when I wanna just wear something more natural, easier looking. So for contour, I have a very difficult skin tone to match, whether it be just foundation wise um, or trying to find the right um, contour color. Uh, this is because as a kid, I had really bad acne scarring here and here. Um, unfortunately, it did follow me into my adulthood. I am trying different ways to get rid of it, um, but right now it still is a struggle. Um, so when contouring first came out, I went to the store and they tried, when I say every brand out there of like either powder contour or not powder contour, like a, like a cream contour, um, my face looked like mud. Like it either turns like bright orange on my cheeks or it turned dirt brown or so gray I looked like I had gray patches on my face. And it's not a good look at all. Absolutely not what you're looking for when you're contouring. So as I was stumbling on through my Walgreens, I just like stopped at the Georgia, the Jordana um, section, and they're known to be cheap and reasonable. And I saw the Jordana Sculpt and Go creamy contour stick, and I was like, you know what? What in the world? It's like four bucks. I might as well just try it. And I fell in love with it. Um, so this is the Jordana um, Contour and Go, or Sculpt and Go, excuse me. Um, I'm in the color 03 Deep. Unfortunately, this is the darkest color, and I am not extremely dark in skin tone. Um, but I love this because it doesn't make my face muddy. Like I said, I've had such difficult times finding things, finding products that will work with my skin. What I like about this stick is that I can actually contour my nose with it, you know, my actual contour lines on my chin, around my forehead, and it's so easy, so simple, and also so very cheap. So probably on everyone's list starting from like last year was the Tarte Shape Tape. Everyone knows about it. I don't have to riff and rave about it. I use the color Light Neutral for just underneath my eyes, on my nose, on my forehead, and under underneath my chin just to lighten up my entire look when I'm highlighting and contouring. My go-to blush of the year. If you have seen me on any pictures, any videos, I am probably wearing this color on my cheeks for blush. Uh, this is the NARS and this is in Gilda. It looks like this. It's a really, really, really pretty just pink. And it's so funny because I never thought that I would want pink on my cheeks, but it just gives me such a flush. I'm actually wearing it right now. Um, and I just absolutely, I love it. I love it so much. So for primers, ding, 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 
This is the Benefit, the Professional Primer. Um, this has been my go-to primer all year. Um, I love it. It's super easy. It smooths out my entire face. It makes my makeup stay on longer. Um, I can't rave enough about this product. For my under eye coverage to make it lighter and brighter, I have been using the RCMA, the No Color Powder. This is the original. I absolutely love it. It's huge. It's a lot for the money that you pay for it. Um, and it doesn't break you out, which is super duper duper amazing, especially if you have acne prone skin. So for mascara, I have two products. Um, one is the Benefit Roller Lash. I fell in love with this. I use this almost every day. If you see me with mascara on, it is probably my Roller Lash from Benefit. Um, I absolutely love it. I think the application just goes on so nice. Um, I love the bristle of the head of this brush. I just think it's it's great. But on my cheaper end, I did find the Essence Lash Princess. Um, this is the false lash effect. Guys, if you do not want to put falsies on and you have beautiful long lashes, please curl your lashes and wear this and it'll look like you are wearing false lashes. Um, if you don't have wonderful, gorgeous long lashes and you just have short ones and you still want them to look great, use this. It is so cheap. I found it at Ulta and I absolutely love it. I rip and rave about this to anyone that wants to buy cheap mascara because buy this one. Teal, black, essence, Lash Princess. These are my most used and go-to brushes that I loved in 2017. Um, I'm just gonna just take them out of the little jar and tell you a little bit about them. So number one is from Real Techniques. Um, this is actually their contour brush. Um, I have another contour brush that I like much better than this one. I actually made this my highlight brush. So for here, up into here, on my nose, dragging it up, on my cupid's bow, down here, up here, and dragging up here. I just love it. I think it fits perfectly for my face. It applies beautifully. It picks up a lot of product. It doesn't keep a lot of product on the brush. It does spread it out evenly. I love this. So if you need a drugstore highlight brush, da -da -da, pick this one up. Next from Real Techniques is also their blush brush. Like I said, I've been using Gilda um, from NARS nonstop, and this is what I've been applying it with. It honestly has like the coloring of Gilda all over it mm -hmm. because this is what I do. It just fits my cheeks so perfectly and drags it, applies color well. It doesn't save the color. I mean, I know that it's colored here, but like I said, I've been using this forever and I should probably wash my brushes. So. If you're looking for a cheaper alternative than something from an extremely expensive line, Real Techniques. Another Real Techniques that is supposed to be used for something else and I use for any something else is uh, their base eyeshadow brush. Um, when I go for base eyeshadow brushes, I look for just like a straight flat eyeshadow brush to apply to all over my lid. Um, this has a little bit more of a dome shape to it, which I love for blending. Oh my goodness. I like... This is a beautiful brush for blending. This one was actually a TJ Maxx find. This is the Kevin Aquan, the Small Eyeshadow Soft Round Tip Brush. I picked this up not knowing what I was gonna do with it and I use it just to deepen my creases and oh, loudy loud, loud. I love it. Like this has changed my depth and my makeup looks so much just from this one brush. So if you can, try to pick this up or something very similar to it because game changer when it comes to your eye looks. So next I have my NARS uh, 15 brush. It is a smudge brush. I have been using it to apply product underneath my um, bottom eyelid. Is that yeah, my bottom eyelid, um, and to smudge it out to make it nice and smoky and sultry and very, very cute. And I love this! And I would recommend anyone who wants to do that to pick this up. It makes it so simple, applies so much product, it looks great. So those are just some of my favorite products of 2017, my most used, my favorited products of 2017, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, I definitely say if you do have the means and the ability to try them out, definitely do. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye!